Um, now what I'd like to do is take a look at the work orders. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the work orders. So on this left hand side, you can see I'm in agreements right now. Um, this is my navigation pane. This is how I'm going to be navigating um, to different entities uh, within the uh, field service module. So if I click on work orders here, it brings me my list of work orders. Um, and I can go ahead and open one of these up. I open up one of these work orders. Um, you'll see there are things that uh, you might recognize from the agreements page. So we have our service account, you know, that we can know. So this is the customer that we're working with. We have a system status where you can check the status of a particular work order. Um, what's the work order type? What is the price list that we're using for this work order? Um, if I scroll down a bit on the left, we have, you know, our sales incident type, um, you know, for this specific work order. And if I go to settings, we'll see some more information such as what is the priority of this, the work location, what are the time preferences when we, uh, when the customer uh, would like us to come on site and perform this work. Um, and then <clears throat> on each of these fields here, excuse me, on each of these tabs up at the top, we again have processes and service tasks. So it looks very similar to our agreement. So these are the products that I'm actually going to use or were actually used for this specific work order. So you can see here, they went into a state of, and let me open this up. They now say used here. Uh, before a product can be used, they're going to be an estimated state. And so really it was me kind of just going over the work order products. You can change a um, work order product or a technician would change the line status of a work order product from estimated to used based on you know whether or not they actually used that product in their um, parts replacement.